Hello, hi, good to see you guys back for more. Hey, it's Wildy. Uh, I just wanted to get together with you and do some more creative experiences. Um, last time as a recap, our, our first session centered around circles. Everything's made of shapes. And once you explore shapes and forms, three-dimensional shapes, thoroughly, then you can learn to draw anything just by putting two and two together. So today I want to continue with the circles and just do a very brief warm up using um, spheres and how to shade spheres. So when you take a circle, you can make it look like a three dimensional form through shading shadows and highlights. Um, and we'll talk about the contour lines, again, that wrap around circles and that wrap around a sphere, starting with a circle, okay? Starting with your circle. And then turning it into a sphere with contour lines. Um, and what we're going to do, now that's, that was last week's stuff, I'm just recapping. But watch what happens when I use a coil to wrap around the sphere. And we'll do cylinders like that as well. But really today on the menu is more of a drawing game. So um, I'm just going to get a little bit, get you warmed up with coils. You know, a coil will wrap around these are all curved. That's the whole thing. We talked about it last session, is that these curves will wrap around the contour of the form and create um, the illusion of a sphere. This, this is all illusion, okay? Because it's just a flat piece of paper. It's just a circle with some curves on it. So we're creating a trick for the mind, okay? So this sphere, now um, let's play with some more, okay? By the way, how about we pause and everybody gets two pieces of paper and a pencil or a drawing tool. It doesn't matter what kind of drawing tool, honestly. Pencils would be good for doing a little bit of shading. Um, and so I'll meet you back here in two minutes, okay? All right. Welcome to Wildly's World. Thanks. Okay, we're back. I'm going to have a signal for pause. Let's see. Hmm, what's my signal? How about... Hmm, I don't know. Pause. <laughs> hey, we're back. <laughs> okay, so I know I'm a goofball. Sorry. I haven't seen any humans in a while. So, um, you have your papers and pencil. And again, I'm using this dark... Um, pencil that is waxy and it peels away. It's very dark. So you use whatever you want. Um, I would love it if you start with a couple of circles on your page. We're just getting warmed up with spheres. This is just all a little warm up exercise. Um, let's draw a couple circles on your page. They, they can be ovals as long as they're round. It's fine, okay? And this is never a competition with anyone else. It's just about you focused and relaxed and just letting it go. So I've got my circles and now try these things, okay? Start at the top and let's do a little curve right at the top and it's going to start to look like a, an olive that you guys cut up and put on your pizza sometimes um, or 
Hmm, let's see what else. Taco night. Okay, the olive has that little curve because there's a hole in it and it's a sphere. So now let's do some more that wrap around. Keep it going down and they're all about the same. They're parallel to each other and they're wrapping around. So that's one illusion. That's a good one. On one of your other circles, let's do a continual coil. Don't pick your pencil up, but start at, the, um, start at the top with this same thing, and then we're gonna keep going. Now watch me first, and then you do it, okay? I'm just gonna keep going, and I'm not gonna pick my pencil up. We're gonna, this is going to appear to be an imaginary, excuse me, a transparent sphere, like a glass ball that we're looking through and we're seeing the contour line. So here's an illusion of a 3D sphere that's clear. Um, I'm gonna do it again one more time and try this because this will heighten the illusion. When you're coming in the front, okay, coming out towards you and around, make it darker. When you go to the back side, softer. Harder, softer, harder, softer. Let me show you and then you try it, okay? I'm going to work big so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay. So I'm just going to do a bigger one so you can see. Um, see, my, my circle's not perfect, and that's fine. Whatever. Okay? It's just an exercise. So here's my beginning. So now I'm going to go harder or more firmly with my pencil, softer, harder. I'm going to dig in and release the pressure. More pressure, less pressure, more. Okay, now the illusion, when, that's called line quality. When you're using harder, more darker lines with your graphite pencil, if you're using a pencil, that's why pencil's good for shading, um, and line quality, the hard edges, the darker values look like they're out front and the softer values look like they're disappearing behind. You use that anytime as pressure with your pencil, anytime you want to create depth, an illusion of field, okay, near and far. All right, so softer values will fade back and harder, darker values uh, will come at you. So there's a quick, quick sphere challenge. Um, these coils are fun. Now, one more thing, and then we'll move on. Um, because we'll do some shading real quick, okay? So we need a few more circles. These are what artists call studies. We're not always creating a masterpiece. We're just studying and practicing and learning new things and exploring and experimenting. So I have a few more circles here. This time, um, okay, let's put a light source coming from above, just because we've been looking at these front with, I'm gonna start simple. There's a light source coming from above. I put a little arrow there just to remind myself where the light's coming from. Because when a light hits a form, it creates shadows and highlights, creates shadows. So here, I'm very softly, I want you to draw three contour lines that wrap around. The reason I'm doing them curved this way is because it's like I'm looking down on the pool ball or the golf ball or the tennis ball or the... Um, not the football, <laughs> the basketball or the soccer ball, or any sphere. I'm looking down upon it. We can totally turn that around as if we're looking up. If we were looking up at a big sphere, the contour lines, let me grab another one. The contour, I'm going to turn it upside down and watch. Now we're looking up at it. Okay, so, all right. Rewind. 
you are drawing three contour lines right now in this new circle and then the lights coming from above so how about we leave everything up top bright we're gonna do three values and then our next area is going to be mediums so use your pencil shade in i'm using hatch hatch marks not hashtags hash marks which are just little lines little parallel lines but i'm wrapping them around with my contour they're not going to go straight across look what happens as an example when i draw straight lines across my circle even if they're shading or hash marks it flattens the illusion so now this is not the illusion of a 3d form it's flat i just blew it <laughs> so now with this new one my lights from the top this is just a brief illustration this is not even realistic yet okay i'm gonna go light medium dark because at the bottom the light is going to start to fade and the shadows are going to grow deeper because they can't see the light this bottom area now under the midline let's say there's a waist line as if this was a figure this guy's wearing a belt that's a pokeball <laughs> he's wearing a belt and that's the the widest part the sun cannot even see under that part anymore okay so that's why i'm going to use my lights up top very 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 softly or nothing my medium values next now below the belt I'm going to have my darker and it's going to get darker. It's going to go medium dark to harder, darker marks and they're curving around the contour. That's how you shade a sphere. And then what's going to happen all the way under it? Darkest darks. And I'm, I'm curving this. Okay. That's important. So you guys work on this a little bit. I'll show you what I've got, and then I'll give you five, two minutes to, to get a nice sphere that's looking like the light's coming from above. And I gotta get the dark, dark, darks down at the bottom. The light is not hitting down there. Okay, oh, yeah. so this is very basic, it's not, it's okay. Um, we're showing the values, three values to shade the sphere. Okay. Without these contour lines, it's going to look more realistic because the shade is happening in a gradual tone, a gradual movement. Let me try to graduate and make it blend it so that it looks more gradual, like it's getting, um, away from the light, moving away from the light. The light is not hitting at the bottom. Okay, so that's just a basic warm up. We'll do some more of that later, okay? I'll give you two minutes to work on that one. So pause and I'll see you back here in two minutes or when you're ready, okay? All right, next up, okay? Be before we move on, I'm gonna say one quick, quick thing. I'm gonna move the light source real quick and because often the light is not coming from the top, it's coming from the side or diagonally. So on this sphere, you don't have to do one of these, I just want you to watch. It's coming from the side. So how I start, I'll draw upside down for a minute. I hope you can see this. I'm gonna start with that gentle curve, curving around. These are zones where the light is going to, in, um, the light's gonna decrease going down, basically. 
So, and I turned, see what I did? Now, my light, my olive hole is going diagonally because I shed a light from the window, let's say. Okay. So now I've got my lighter lights over here and my darker darks over here, okay? So I'll just do a super quick one with hash marks so you can see what I'm talking about. Oh, there's my lights. Lights, mediums, and darks. Values of a color, light, medium, and dark. I'm not blending, blending is soft. I'm shading and I'm using patch marks. Little lines in it, parallel lines, and they're curving around the form. They're parallel lines, which is side by side and not touching. That's the definition of parallel. These are touching, they're overlapping, and they're crossing. So they're parallelish. All right, here we go. I'm getting my darker darks. When you're done with this, and you don't have to do this one, I just want to show you, you'll have your lights, mediums, and darks representing the light fading. Notice how I have my turn my paper. Turn my paper a lot. You do not have to have your paper head on when you're drawing. Sometimes I draw upside down. However is the best angle for you to reach your subject and make it work. Okay. And we'll get into shadows another time. But here's my different light source on the sphere. Okay. All right. With hash marks. Hatch marks. Cross hatch. If I cross hatch it, then I'm crossing those in X's. You see that on some really cool drawings and on studies. All the, all the best drawers do cross hatch and hatch marks. Um, and it's a quick way to shade. All right. That's the point. It's a quick way to shade. Okay. So good job. Now, um, here we go. We're going to move on to the drawing game. All right? So grab your other sheet of paper and your pencil or whatever drawing tool you want. This is a um, game designed around symbols. I have lots of cool books about symbols. Um, symbols are ancient well, symbols are representation. It's a simple drawing that represents something very important. And even our language, our alphabet, are symbols. So triangles, circles are symbols. And they have deeper meanings because humans forever, since the beginning of human beings, um, people have been using mark making and symbols to represent important ideas. And it was, it's a language. And um, so we're gonna, you're gonna invent some of your own symbols right now with this drawing game. Okay? So here we go. The first thing I need you to do on your blank paper is start, is draw what I draw. Okay? So here we go. We're gonna start up in this corner and we're gonna draw three and three. So there'll be six objects on your page. Up, oh, start with a circle. Ha <laughs> ha, right up here. I say ha ha because well, we live on a circle. Gosh, the earth. So circle number, you need one circle. Next, beside it, you need a square. So I'm gonna have room for three on the top and three on the bottom. Over here on this side, you need stair steps that go up, across, up, across, and there are three of them. Oops. OK. 
Okay, and then on the bottom row, we have a triangle going down, down pointing equilateral triangle. So those are equal sides, whatever works, it doesn't matter. Need a triangle, an X, and a straight line across. So this is what you should have on your paper. I'll give you a, a minute to do that, to get those ready. Your job at this point, the challenge is to turn each one into something new. So do whatever you want to take each symbol, basic symbol, to the next level. There are no rules on this art other than respect everyone and everything. <laughs> so, of course, duh. Oh, anytime I say there are, no, there are no rules, it's like, oh boy, wait, I better think of one. <laughs> so there are no rules with the drawing, okay? You can do anything you want to this if it's appropriate, right? So let's see what you do with these. You know, some people ask, can they touch? Or can I do this? Can I do that? Yes, all that, okay? So I will give you 10 minutes or more you know what something i think you need 10 or 15 minutes to develop these at least maybe even 20. so let's pause and you're gonna go with it okay let it go and add to these until you're content with each one as its own unique object okay um so 10, 15, 20 minutes on the clock. Some people like to get really in depth. It takes people different amounts of time. It doesn't have to be detailed or it does not have to be objective about an object or non-objective, not about an object. Do whatever you want with it. Okay, I'll meet you back here in 15. Pause. <laughs> All right, we're back. Okay, on the next step, you've developed these. Now, I want you to label each one. This is sort of part of the exercise. Label each one with one word that represents this symbol, this new symbol that you've created. Okay, you've just created this new symbology. One word that represents what that means to you or what you think it means, okay? All right, five minutes, pause. All right, I'm back. You've named all of these. Now, I'm gonna tell you what each of these actually represents in a big idea in the big picture okay and you can sort of then think about it and discover a little bit more about yourself and your drawings sometimes we know where we're going at the beginning and it's meaningful to try to get there and it means something sometimes we don't know and it's a journey and it's an experience of discovery and that's what i love that's why i like this game because now I get to find out, you know, I've assigned the word growth to this first symbol. This is what it means to me. And now I want you to know that the first symbol, the circle, is representative of self. It's representing yourself, your circle. 
it's representing yourself. So you can write that down on the back if you want or somewhere, because you might want to play with this some more or do this with someone else, this game. Circle represents the self. The square represents life. Right? Whatever you did here and whatever word you assigned is relates to the idea life. Okay. The stair steps represent future, okay? Future. This is the fun part. <laughs> um, four, the triangle represents how others see you. And the X. What does that represent? Any ideas? Death. Okay. And this is just a game someone made up and it has deeper meanings and I'm, I just have fun with it. So don't take it too seriously. Okay. So this one should represent death. I wonder how your word relates and your drawing and it's just fun to Fun to check it out. And the final symbol, the, the horizontal line, represents friendship okay, in this game. So I had um, words like growth, radiance, alive, grounded, communal. What's that? The X. The X. Death. Communal. That's kind of strange. Oh well. And catalyze my final symbol for friendship. Friendship. So we don't really know what we're doing until it's over. So it's just a fun game of discovery. All right. I hope you had a ball. And um, thank you for joining me. And remember, if you ever want to try this again or on somebody else or just play the game, maybe on your little brother or friend or whatever. There it is. Okay. All right. Good, good working with you. Good talking to you. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And now you can take time to develop this, these drawings. You can take more time if you need. Um, you can also work on shading your spheres because sometimes we just don't have time enough for that when, when I'm working on my own schedule, which is this video. <laughs> so take some time to start the 3D illusion of spheres. And then enrichment, what can you build on your paper with 3D spheres that are shaded that look somewhat realistic? I don't know. Okay. Try it out. Take it to the next level. Okay. I hope that was good for you guys, and thank you. I'll see you next time.